Hey, what is going on people of the Smile Society? Matt here from mksmiles.com and in this video, we're gonna be going over my smart home desk setup. The reason I call this my smart home desk setup is because this is where I make all the smart home videos and where I sit and manage my smart home. Well, actually I also stand, but we'll talk about the desk later. So this is what I like to call my command center. This is where I monitor the house from. This is where I can control the house from. Well, you can control the house from practically any web enabled device, but let's just say this is where I control it from. As we can see, I have open have up on the left screen over here. So in this video, we'll be taking a tour around my entire desk. I'm gonna be showing you all the products that I have been using and the links to every single product that I'm gonna talk about for your convenience is in the description below. Speaking of links in the description, follow at MK Smart House on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat because that's where I give you guys sneak peeks on future videos behind the scenes on videos, as well as things a true smart enthusiast would appreciate. And the last thing that I wanna talk about that's in the description is my Sonoff Basic giveaway. Actually, let me grab it. So this is the Sonoff Basic device that I've been showing you guys how to make in the past couple videos, and the deploy video is coming up next after this video. So it should be available tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to be giving away a kit to make your own Sonoff Basic DIY smart plug. And so far we have about 13 people in the giveaway, so there's still time to enter and there's only 13 people, so you have a big chance of winning. The link to the giveaway is in the description below. It's 100% free and super easy to enter. So good luck to everybody that enters. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the tour. I hope you enjoy, because these are my favorite videos to watch, so I hope that you guys have enjoyment watching it. So let's begin by talking about the main thing that you see on the desk, which are the three monitors. And so each of these monitors are Dell S2415H. I love these monitors because they have very, very slim bezels and they're glossy and they have very, very good picture. Now these aren't 4K monitors, these are simply just 1080p monitors. And on the left screen we have, there you can see me right there, like I said, they're very glossy and I like the way that they look, but they're only glossy when you have like very, very large amounts of light like I have here. I have one light here and then I have a bunch of light coming from there. So that's why you can see like the reflection, but normally it looks like this. See how you can't see too big of a reflection and I just love the monitors, but we have open have open right here. So we can control the blinds, which I have behind the desk. Bam, right there. And let's just close them for the rest of the video. Uh, the blinds are from mksmarts.com slash shop, which is also where this LED strip is from. So this is the LED strip I showed you guys how to make. If you want to pick up a kit, the link is in the description. And right now it is on the fade effect. I love the LED strip, it provides a nice like glow, even in bright situations, it itself is bright and it provides like a nice glow behind the monitors and it's especially great when it's dark, actually let me turn off the light, this one stays on because it's manually plugged in, but you can see like the nice effects, love the LED strip. Alright, and so the three monitors are sitting on a triple monitor mount and this is a mount I picked off of Amazon. Uh, I don't know the exact brand and model, but the link will be in the description. Uh, and then behind the monitors, well, normally behind the monitors, I have my Bose QC35s chilling right there because I like to use those when editing. Uh, also, speaking of sound, I like to use these guys right here. These are the Bose, I, I believe they're the Companion 2 speakers. Very nice quality sound, very loud. Um, very nice bass actually coming from these two small speakers very nice bass and then the triple monitor mount is sitting on this desk and this desk is from a company called FlexiSpot alright so I put you guys back up on the high tripod because I wanted to talk a little bit more about this desk from this angle because so that way you can see the entire desk the model that I have here uh, from FlexiSpot is I have the 65 by 30 inch tabletop and then I have the black 
del uh, dual motorized leg. So the things that I love about this desk is it took me less than an hour to build. Uh, I can raise and lower the desk and it's actually, it's really fast. So when I wanna stand, I don't need to wait too long and it's pretty quick. The motors are fast, they sound good. Another thing that I like is the fact that it is sturdy. So it wobbles, yes, a little bit, but for the fact that it's on two legs, it's very, very sturdy. And then when it's lower, it's even more sturdy and it's as if it doesn't even shake. Uh, the desk feels great. It's high quality. The legs are high quality. They're all made out of metal. Um, it's a very nice feel on the top. It's not um, some like Ikea desk where there's like air pockets. In my previous desk, I don't know if you guys remember, that one was from Ikea. And so not that anything was bad about that desk, but that desk, it wasn't as thick like this is almost as if like a solid piece of wood and it's very very solid now back to the standing and sitting portion this desk it goes down very very low and it goes up very very high so actually let's go to the maximum height so that's the maximum height of the desk and I would go to the lowest setting but then I have this there's a table right there so I can't go absolutely low because I don't really need it to go that low, but if we go to my sitting height, which it has very nice controls because I can just press one and it goes to my sitting height. I don't know if you guys can still see it. And there you go, see it went very, very low and it could go even lower, which is awesome. But let's go ahead and put it back to the top height. So I just pressed the number two because I set that as the maximum height setting. So another thing that's great about this desk is underneath, we'll take a tour later, but it has very nice spots for cable management. It has two like basket-like things in the middle where you can go ahead and jam cables and attach things to. It's fantastic. It also has nice controls. So over here we have the control panel for the desk. You have a little display which shows you the height in inches, I believe, of the desk. You can raise and lower the desk. You have three preset heights. So you can have like your sitting height, your standing height, and then you can have another height for whatever you want to desire. To program those, you use this button, the M button, and then you have the A button, which is automatic. So it has a timer that you can set. So like every hour, it'll like beep at you to remind you to stand because you've been sitting for too long. And that's all configurable from this panel. So it has very nice controls. In the future, I plan on making a device so that way we can Wi-Fi control this desk. We'll tap into the control settings of the desk and make it so it's Wi-Fi enabled. Before we take a physical tour around the desk, there's three more things that I wanna say about this desk. Uh, it handles the weight of my monitors very well. This is a very, not super heavy, but a pretty heavy and sturdy like mount for my three monitors. And the monitors aren't the lightest things in the world. And the desk supports it all, as well as the other things that I have on the desk. Second, with the sitting and standing desk, there is health benefits. I don't know if you can see over here, but I have six water bottles that I go through in one day. I care a lot about health. And so sitting is a very, it's not the best thing for you in the world, especially for me where I sit and like make videos and make devices for you guys. So I sit a lot and uh, that that's not very good. But with the standing desk, I can stand for an hour, sit for an hour and keep alternating. And the last thing that I would have never thought, but when I stand, I am more focused than when I'm sitting. And I guess that could be because of the comfortability. When you're sitting, it's more comfortable. And when you're standing, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So when I stand, I like to now video edit when I stand because I'm focused on like editing and stuff because I'm not sitting down and relaxing. I'm standing, I'm in the zone, I'm editing the videos. So I think that's another benefit of the standing desk. I feel like you're more focused when it's standing. All right, but let me go ahead and show you physically how the desk is, all the controls and stuff. So here we go. As you can see, it's very, very nice finish. It's a nice quality. It's very solid and it has a nice edging trim. Uh, this is the control panel I was talking about. We got the up, the down, your three presets. Uh, this is the program button for the presets and this is your timer thing to program when you want it to remind you to sit and stand. And it's a very nice display, I like it. 
nice controls. I like them. But in the future, we'll make them Wi-Fi so we can control it from our smart home. And on the top of the desk, it's just one solid piece of uh, wood where you can place all your stuff on it. And then if we go underneath, we have the two legs that the desk sits on and both of these are motorized. They have motors right up in the corners. And so let's actually, while I'm down here, I'll show you everything here. So these are the cable management things that I was talking about. I have a bunch of stuff jammed in there and in there which is below my Kingston USB-C dock. So I have everything plugged in here and then that goes to my computer. I'll show you my computer later. But this is a great dock. Um, it has a bunch of ports on the back. It has the ethernet, display port, USB, audio, um, and a bunch of things. Then I have my display adapters to go to USB-C and display port. Uh, this desk is AC powered, so I have it plugged in actually no that's not it I have it plugged in over here and so that powers it and the actual brain of the desk is right up here so this is where both the motors and the power go into so it's above my dock this is my cable management it's not the best and it's not finished but it's what I have done right now and then to wander my monitors since my computer can't handle three monitors I just have a USB to um, HDMI adapter. So it's from Monoprice and that chills in here. And in here I also have a USB-C um, USB to USB 3.0 hub and that's chilling in here. It's like this silver rod looking thing, it's seven ports and then that connects to this hub. And if we follow the string of wires, we go to my um, MK Smart House power strip. So this power strip is actually the next device that I'll be showing you guys how to make on my channel. Uh, it has six plugs and on each two plugs are individually controlled. So this set of plugs is controlled, this one is controlled, and these are controlled too. So it's basically every outlet you can control. And so it's housed in this uh, electrical box and with a faceplate. It's basically like the Sonoff dual power strip I showed you guys how to make a while ago on my channel. And so I have all the plugs here and then I didn't have enough so I also grabbed a power strip and that ties into the smart power strip. And then it's just plugged in right here. And then here's the plug for the blinds. Actually let's keep talking about this table. So. Over here I have a, a Raspberry Pi kit that I got from a company called Abox and in the kit it came with everything I needed to get this Raspberry Pi 3 up and running. Uh, the reason I didn't use my fan controlled uh, kit that I have on my website is because uh, this one it doesn't really need it. It just, it just handles the uh, security cameras which are connected to this um, Samsung monitor. Uh, I don't have it set it up right now because I didn't want you guys to see the cameras and stuff, so I disconnected the cameras, but normally I have my cameras up on this screen. Uh, I also have another Raspberry Pi over here, and this is my testing server, so I have either OpenHab or Home Assistant on it. I don't remember which one I have at the moment. And then those are connected to my uh, Netgear AC1750 uh, access point router, whatever you wanna call it. I showed you guys how to hook these up in my network video. Oh boy, that was like a long time ago on my channel. But if you want to see this get hooked up, go ahead and check out those videos. It's uh, setting up the smart home network. Oh, and also this monitor is chilling on a monitor pole arm thing. And then here is my Logitech webcam that I use for the streams, which speaking of streams, there will be a stream uh, probably this Saturday. I know I didn't get one in the beginning of the month, but uh, we'll do one this Saturday. And these are the water bottles I was talking about. I go through all six of these in one day. All right, let's move back to the desk because we didn't get to finish. Let's talk about the stuff that I use on a daily basis. So actually we'll save that for later. Uh, this is a um, controller, well, a keypad. It's a wireless USB keypad. And I normally use this to control the cameras on that monitor. See, it, I accidentally pressed it, whoops. Okay, moving next to that, we have my Lemetric clock. 
and right now I have my subscriber count up on it. Thank you guys so much for 35,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. We hit this on Christmas Day, I believe, and it was awesome. It was a great Christmas present from you guys. I love it. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Um, but not only does it show subscriber count, but you can do like timers, clocks, radio, weather, the time. And one of the greatest features about this is it's connected right now to my OpenHab server, but it can also be connected to Home Assistant and you can get notifications on it. So actually let's demonstrate. If I open my door, as you can see, it said MK door open. So it shows you notifications. You can set the notifications to say whatever you want. I'll be making a video how to connect it to OpenHab and Home Assistant uh, in the near future. And then next to that, I have my Amazon Echo. Um, it's great to just sit at the at my desk and just tell the Amazon Echo to control my home. So set, set the blinds, set the LEDs. And I have that connected to the speakers. So that way it's like a nice command central feeling because when you talk to her, it, you hear it from both sides of the desk. Uh, next to that, I just have an Aki four port hub and that has the receiver from my Logitech K750 uh, wireless uh, solar keyboard. The reason I have it um, uh, solar paneled is because I never wanted to change the batteries. I originally had the Apple wireless keyboard, but that one I had to keep on changing batteries and I didn't really want to do that. So instead I've just had it just sitting here and I've never had to think about batteries or anything. It just powers itself and it has the number pad. And for the mouse that I'm using, I'm using the Apple Magic Mouse, uh, the second generation one with the, um, the the batteries integrated into it. So I just have to plug in a cable, a lightning cable, and it charges. And those are sitting on a Decanic uh, big mouse pad. Great feel of this mouse pad. I like it. And then over here, this is the computer that I use. This is my 2016 MacBook Pro with touch bar. And this has been driving my videos for the past two years. And I got it on day one when Apple released it. I know some of you are gonna be hating on me. Oh, it's a MacBook. It's okay. I love Apple and the MacBooks. They're great. They're easy to use. Uh, they don't have as many error messages as Windows in my opinion. And it's what I prefer. So it's what I like and that's all that matters. And another great feature about the MacBook is it's USB-C. It has four USB-C ports. So I only have to plug in one USB-C cable uh, because I use this for everything. I don't have a separate desktop or a laptop. I just have everything on this laptop so I don't have to keep on transferring files and stuff. So when I'm at school or out somewhere, I just grab this MacBook, unplug one cable, and boom, I have everything. And then when I come home, plug in my USB-C cable, and I have three monitors. So I like this all-in-one idea that I had where I have one powerful laptop that I can use anywhere and then I bring it at home and it's as if I have three monitors and a desktop. All right, so that is it for my desk setup. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my smart home desk. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. As I mentioned before, all the links to everything I talked about is in the description below as well as a link to smartsociety.com where you can pick up a hoodie like this one and be an elite member. Uh, mksmarts.com slash shop where you can pick up the LED strip behind my desks. Uh, eventually you'll be able to pick up the power strip, uh, blinds control, and much more. So go to mksmarts.com slash shop. And I'll have Amazon links for everything else such as my monitors, the MacBook, the uh, speakers, all of that. But tomorrow we will be doing the deploy video for the Sonoff Basic Smart Plug, which again, giveaway, not too many people have entered, so you have a big chance of winning. And there's multiple ways to get entries. So great chance of winning. So I recommend everybody go ahead, check out the giveaway. Super easy, 100% free. So thank you guys for watching. If, but if you enjoyed, go ahead and smash like on the video. And if you're a smart home enthusiast like me, then you belong in this channel, so hit that subscribe button. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or head over to mksmarts.com slash forum. Goodbye.